My name is Paul Gallagher. I am a 55-year-old man living in outer eastern Melbourne. I have MS, secondary progressive. Uh, I'm in a wheelchair. I love trains and I love using them a lot. I just wish I could use them more. Hi, I'm Shay Bennett. I'm an access and inclusion advocate trying to change transport in Victoria. So I have a visual impairment, a mobility disability, and I'm also neurodivergent, and I find it difficult to access public transport, but I'm also reliant on public transport. My name's Emilio Savle. My disability is as a result of polio, and I use a powered wheelchair because I've really overused the top part of my body. Um, public transport is not necessarily the bee's knees. It's not necessarily that accessible. It has improved over the years. Unfortunately, it still needs a lot of work to be done in that space. Hello, my name is Eva Smith. My disability is an intellectual disability and I've got a physical disability with my balance. On trains, I will always be in a wheelchair. When I encountered the gap with um, trains. Fear is my first response. First of all, fearful that the driver's not going to get out of the cab to help me. Um, and secondly, that I'm going to get stuck and I'm going to feel embarrassed or I'm going to get stuck and the train's going to drive away. Added to everything else we face in our lives, they're, they're just another layer of concern that comes and it just makes you a bit nervous about catching a train. And sometimes I won't catch a train because of that. So my name's Robbie Phelan. Um, I'm from Modular Transport Access Solutions, or MODTAS for short. At the moment, the way the current system is, people in wheelchairs, mobility scooters, mothers with prams, so they have to make their way to the end of the train platform, wait for the train driver to get off and let down a manual ramp, and then help wheel them up or um, help them walk up. When the train pulls into the station where they're getting off, the same thing happens again. The train driver will get out, let down the ramp, help them off the train. The Department of Transport uh, they following the manual ramp solution, which is hard for different type of people with disabilities, especially with wheelchair users. There's a couple of problems that I have when I'm encountering these ramps. The first one is the noise. The sound of that ramp coming down actually is painful neurologically. And then when I get onto the train, if it's busy, I can't get in. Because sometimes it's happened that there's four or five mobility devices already in that crowded first carriage, so then it's a real difficulty for me to even get on the train itself. Generally speaking, I've had very good assistance by train drivers. The downside also is that, you know, they slam the ramp down and make a hell of a racket, and it just about frightens everybody in the first carriage. Sometimes you have to rely on the driver to assist you up into the train, when really you're wanting to have independent access rather than somebody have to push you on. Sometimes when I use the manual ramp, sometimes the drivers forget all about me and then I can't get off my stop. I end up at another station. I find it difficult to be asking for that ramp to be deployed. I also find that the trip hazards are a problem for me. That fear of something going wrong can actually stop people from wanting to access public transport. So what we've done is we've created an automated system that sits on the train platform. When the train comes in, a ramp will come out and meet the train. It'll close the gap between the train and the platform, both vertically and horizontally, allowing people in wheelchairs, mobility scooters, mothers with prams, the elderly, anyone that has issues to be able to board on and off unassisted. There are now many businesses developing practical, innovative solutions to enable people with mobility issues more access to public transport. At NTRO, we're proud to be partnering with some of these providers to trial their solutions directly with users. Through testing and refinement, we hope to see many of these solutions brought to market where they may enhance the freedom and independence of many people with mobility issues. Going having a look today at this device, and my first reaction is it's fantastic. Could we roll it out tomorrow? <laughs> it appears to me to completely solve all of the issues that I have. My reaction to the uh, device was, how quickly can it be funded and how soon can it be rolled out? My experience with the automatic ramp today, it quite surprised me. It was, it was good, well thought out. The concept seemed sound. That I felt very safe and it felt secure when I was 
getting on and off the train. So I'm really excited about um, the possibility of being able to go to a train station and um, just have a ramp that works. It was just really easy to get on and off the platform. The major outcome will be definitely to make our public transport system more accessible to people with disability. We're hoping after finishing this project that we have a better transport system that people they can rely on themselves when they travel. I'm, I'm hoping this makes a massive impact in people's lives. We really hope that this helps people feel like they can board any public transport whenever they want just to make it completely effortless like it is for everyone else. Through improving accessibility to public transport we hope to give many people with mobility issues more independence and a greater sense of inclusiveness. If these were implemented it would revolutionise the level of access that I have to facilities, events and people in my city. I am way too isolated as a person with a disability and this would cut down my isolation by a significant percentage. I think that these ramps, if they were implemented, would be a game changer. It would change my life. I would be able to go um, without fear of falling um, onto a train and uh, that would open up worlds for me. It would be a terrific thing because people can board that independently. I can board it independently. It goes, goes without saying, if these ramps were widely implemented, it would be fantastic for me to travel on as well as others. People with, with disability would be able to get out more independently and not have the fear of getting discriminated against. These innovations means independent access. A device like this solves the biggest problem I have with public transport in Melbourne. These type of innovations uh, mean everything to people in the disability community. It changes our life. It gives us the ability to go out and work and study and just have normal lives, just like everybody else, um, being able to access our community. It's a game changer.